Hi, how you doing? Most therapies don't cover this stuff. Um, and you probably don't know you have it. So it's a tricky place to be. And I found it was a tricky place for me to be. So um, even though I've been in coaching for ugh, 22 years, I've been working on this stuff for 16, I didn't realize I had it. And that's what you often find with people that want to help others, therapists, coaches, um, psychotherapists, they want to help others, but they're actually a bit stuck themselves that they just don't see it. So I was struggling in my own business, had all these ideas, all these things I could have been, but I kept self-sabotaging and it felt like I was self-sabotaging, but I didn't understand why. I was holding myself back. Does that make sense? In relationships, I was were three times divorced, so I'm not proud of that, but I kept repeating these patterns and you have to look for the common denominator, you know? It's like, what is the common denominator here? And it's me and it's like, okay, I'm up for self-reflection and learning about myself but what is it within me that keeps repeating these patterns and attracting this certain type of behavior within a relationship you know I felt useless I felt stuck I felt ugly I, I felt like I couldn't uh, I couldn't speak out I couldn't express myself well uh, I couldn't stand up to myself for myself I couldn't stand up uh, metaphorically and I, I didn't feel strong I felt useless and weak uh, and and that's what I, f I, I played out in my relationships very nice, really nice person, but not able to stand up for myself, not really clear on what I wanted to stand for. Um, and yeah, avoiding confrontation at all costs. Does that make sense? And there's some things you need to stand out for, you need to stand up for, you need to express rather than hide because you hate confrontation. Does that make sense? And I felt I wasn't being the dad I wanted to be, always struggling with money. And it's like, oh, you know, that's so difficult. Yeah, I had the time. I may, always made, I'm very nurturing. I very you know, made sure I've always had the time, really quality time and being really present with my kids. But it was also that balance of, yeah, I'm there, but I'm not out earning the money. So that was always a, a tension for me. Oh, but get, get this. I was always optimistic. I was a bit of a dreamer. I was hopeful, you know? So even though adversity, difficulty, struggle, I'd always think of the positive and I'll I'll make it, I'll be able to do it and all this will be worth it. The struggle will be worth it. The story will be worth it. It'll be a great story because I will have come out the other side and made it. Does that make sense? That optimism, but you keep drawing the same struggles. And you're probably optimistic. It's just your results won't be. And it probably feels like you're swimming against the tide. You know, you're, you're struggling, but you have to keep going. You know, it's, it's going to get easier, but you're Swimming against the tide, does that make sense? Can you relate to that? So what we need to work on really is the common denominator here, the struggle, the internal struggle, which is, we can class it as trauma. Now, some people feel like there's an obvious trauma in their childhood, others don't. And I'd say most people don't. Most of us, well, you know, who am I to, you know, but we all have, you know, different. It's sometimes it's difficult to recognize something as a trauma that's had an impact on you, that's actually steered your life in a different direction and one that you don't want it to go in, but it keeps heading in that bloody direction and you want to change it, but it keeps on heading in, the, in that direction. Does that make sense? So we need to solve that inner trauma, that inner belief that caused a negative belief to happen, that inner trauma. And we need to understand our personality to understand how our traits are played out against that trauma and how that actually keeps us caged and keeps us repeating these patterns of failure, optimism, um, and not really knowing what the real problem is. Does that make sense? And again, most therapies don't address this problem and you probably don't know you have this problem yourself. So if you'd like to more and uh, know more, you know, look at my stuff. But um, also, you know, I'd, I'd be delighted for, to have a conversation with you about this. You know, do get in touch. All right. Many thanks. Hope you have an awesome rest of the day. Bye bye.